IPES2208CA is a 8 port 10100 MTX plus two uplink ports of dual behavior with TX or fiber connection, in which the SFP cages are designed with 100 m or GAM fiber speed. So, let's talk about the IPES 2208CA major features. It supports LANTEC proprietary ring which is PRO-RING 2S, that is a self-heal recovery protocol less than 20 minutes up to 50 switches, the optional chain can be available in later stage. It supports PoE high power standard that can feed power up to 30 watts per port through UTP cables. High power standard can feed power up to 30 watts while AF feed 15 watts. IPES 2208CA can feed totally up to 200 watts in PoE. The PoE management function offers PoE detection, delay, and scheduling besides regular PoE status monitoring. We will have detailed explanation later in this video. The advanced management functions are built in with SNMP protocol, which includes QoS, IPv6, IGMP query, and source only, Q&Q, SSH, SSL, DDM, CPU load monitoring, etc. In some of surveillance application, like transportation, the PoE switches are installed in outdoor cabinet with street lamp and connecting them by fiber infrastructure. The PoE high power standard can feed higher power up to 30 watts so that it is ideal to use together with high power consumption devices like PTZ camera, wireless base station, or backhaul wireless AP. As mentioned earlier that there are three management function including in PoE management sector. PoE detection works to feed the power when checking the PD is still alive. If the case of PD is found dead, the PoE will not feed power over. PoE delay is to delay the power feeding for certain period of time waiting for PD and switches completely communicating. However, this function is suggested to use at troubleshooting scenario. PoE scheduling is to instruct IPES 2208CA to send power over a routine table, for example, only to send power on the weekdays and shut off on the nighttime and weekend. ProRing 2S is to protect data packets with redundancy and can be self-recovery in less than 20 minutes if there is any poor disconnection. The switch node numbers is suggested to be in 50 to have the best recovery time in 20 minutes. Please allow me to introduce exclusive features of IPES 2208CA for surveillance applications. First, static multicast route for non-IGMP cameras. Second, IGMP source only for choosing auto query. In the traditional IGMP use for video on demand application, it rely on video server to send video stream to many client members that belong to the same IGMP group so the video flow is from one server to several clients. But in the surveillance application, the video flows are considered to be reversed because the video sources are from clients. In other words, it cameras and go back to center servers for CMS management. In such situation, static multicast root function is very important to bind the non-IGMP IP cam video path to a certain switch port together in order to prevent network flooding. Or use the IGMP source only function to auto-select the query to be corresponding to reversed IGMP flow. The CPU load monitoring is to able to check the average CPU load at 1, 5, and 15 minutes. So if the flooding or any abnormal status is happening, you should observe high load status on the CPU. There are six information you can see from DDM fiber transceivers includes type, temperature, voltage, transmitting laser bias, TX power, and RX power, which are important for MIS to judge if the fiber transceiver is in health status and sending the enough power in the long distance. Find your best solutions in Lantech.